Hi and welcome to the very first episode of Tested. My name is Matthias and today we'll have a look at Sea Life's new Micro 2.0 Action Cam. This is the second version of Sea Life's Action Cam model, which got released in late 2015. The specs, as you can find them on their website, look quite promising. What really interests me though is to see how the Micro 2.0 compares with my regular Sony camcorder I use for shooting promotional material, documentaries and stock footage. My regular setup consists of a Sony FDR AX100 in a gate housing with lights from light and motion. I would consider this a semi-professional kit and I'm really happy with it. Even though it is a fairly compact rig, it still takes up a considerable amount of space in my luggage when traveling, including all its accessories like ports, tripod, etc. So I'm trying to find out if the Micro 2.0 could be an alternative when going on pleasure trips, just taking some footage for fun and the footage doesn't have to meet certain criteria. So let's get in the water and test it. Testing the Micro 2.0 in the Lake of Zurich in Switzerland I was pleasantly surprised by the really sharp footage. Even on a cloudy day, the colors came out nicely with the on-land shooting mode. Changing into underwater mode and setting the white balance to green lake water, the footage ended up being brown-reddish, regardless whether I was filming with or without lights, and especially in the deeper, darker sections. But I found that this is very easily corrected in post with a simple one-click color correction. After applying that color correction, the footage looks actually quite nice. Obviously, this is the case for footage taken in green lake water. It might be different in tropical water, but I haven't had a chance to test this yet. Okay, let's sum it up. All in all, the picture quality is really nice and sharp for such a small camera. Its compact size, the fact that it's sealed without any possible leaks and the intuitive menu and easy setup shooting modes make it a great travel companion on any fun trip. On the downside, there is no manual controls for focus, shutter speed, etc. And because of its small size, it's a bit challenging to keep it steady and the shaking to a minimum. I'm not going to use the Micro 2.0 for my next project or stock footage, but it's certainly going to come along with me on my next fun trip to spare me dragging my larger kit with me all along. But I think that the Micro 2.0 is a really good camera to take along on your next dive vacation, just to take some fun shots and maybe put a little video together at the end of it that you can then post on Facebook, YouTube, any of those channels. I hope this little comparison was helpful to you. If it was, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, or if you would like me to um, test any specific gear in the future, please post it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.